Imagine you're working on a Minecraft world on PlayStation 4 with a friend. You get off for the night, but your friend wants to keep working on your world. However, you try and send them the save data so they can continue working on it, but they seem to have the error. You cannot use this save data, it belongs to another player. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use other people's saves and edit their saves too. If you don't have everything that is needed to host the bot, don't worry, you can join my Discord and use the bot. All you'll need then is a Discord account, your console, and a flash drive however if you're wanting to host this bot yourself you're going to need a discord a python a, a playstation account and a, a google account as well as an exploited playstation 4 most people aren't going to have so don't worry again you can just join my discord make sure to thank jaxi for making this code he originally did the easy wizard 2 and now the easy wizard 3 bot you can find the link for this in the, the description just go ahead and click the download now button and a download for windows once github is installed either create an account or sign in to your github account after we sign into our github click the code and now click copy url to a clipboard from here we're either going to clone from the internet or we can come up to a file and a clone repository paste the url that you copied in this top link and then click clone whenever you select where you want to put your uh, local path and now we have a, a clone of easy wizard 3 on our computer so now that we've downloaded everything and we have a clone so in order to run this we're going to need to download python don't use anything lower than python 3.9 or else you're going to have issues so go ahead and click download python now the most important thing that you do here is click add python to a path and go ahead and use admin privileges if you want to put it in a custom spot make sure to do custom installation but most people don't worry just do install now because it has everything that you're going to need such as idle and the pip commands that we're going to be running now something else we're going to want to do after python is done setting up is disable the path length limit so now that Python is installed, what we're going to do is install the uh, modules from their requirements folder. So come up to the uh, top and type in PowerShell. Now do a pip install dash r requirements, not text. And once our uh, modules finally finish installing, we're going to uh, press the X button. From here, we're going to edit with idle and click the run module button. You'll notice that we are going to get an error, but when we back out of everything, we now have a file called jsonator.jar, which means we're going to need Java. So that being said, let's go to uh, the uh, Java SDK download and let's just grab the uh, JDK 21, click on Windows and grab the MSI installer. Once the uh, installer pops up, go ahead and click next. You can change the location if you desire to. Click next again. And once JDK is done downloading, go ahead and and click close. Pressing uh, run again, we see that we need a, a specific uh, version of uh, 7-zip, so let's go get uh, this version of 7-zip. Uh, so once we are on the 7-zip uh, website, what we're going to do is grab the 23.1 uh, 7-zip folder, and let's go ahead and download it for 7-zip 64-bit. Now for 7-zip, whenever it asks you to install, just put it wherever you want it to install, and click install. Now whenever we go to uh, run our module, you will see that we are now missing missing a config.yaml file. Whenever you back out of this, you will notice that the file is now here. So we can right click and just open it with something like notepad. Now all the links will be available here in the generated file. So let's go ahead and go over how to get everything here. So on the Discord developer portal, what we're going to do now is create a new application. And then after you create it, go to a bot. Scroll down to a privileged gateway intents, turn all three of these on and turn on administrator. Click save. Now on the uh, token, we're going to press a reset token. Yes to it and copy this token. Well, we're going to go ahead and paste that in the uh, discord token. For the next part, make sure you are logged in to a PlayStation before we continue. Then just go to the uh, link right here if you get this error try using a, a different browser if you're getting an error make sure you're again you are signed in to playstation whenever you switch browsers 
going to copy this value in between the quotation marks and we're going to paste that value here in the SSO cookie. So this next part is actually one of the longest. This is going to be the at least cut up amount of video there is and the most you are going to have to pay attention to so make sure you do not miss a single step here going to a google cloud this is free don't worry you don't have to sign up if it asks you to sign up just go back you will get to this page eventually go to a console and now we're going to create a new project you can name this project whatever you want so here we're just going to name it potato bot and after it's done creating, click this little uh, drop down here and go ahead and switch to uh, your new bot. Let's go to API and services and enable API and services. From here, we're just going to uh, search for a uh, Google Drive and get the uh, Google Drive API to enable on our Google Cloud. After the API is added, we're going to go to the uh, credentials and create credentials going to create an OAuth client ID and now I'll fill everything out here in external application user type and now I'll let's name it we're going to add our email if you want you can add a logo here but it does not matter add the, the uh, developer contact information and go ahead and click save and continue on uh, the uh, scope screen all we have to do is hit save and continue on the uh, test user we're going to want to add the uh, gmail account that is connected to our google drive account so when we click add we're just going to save and continue from the screen and continue down to uh, back to dashboard all right do make sure your uh, test users is in here i had to do it twice so now we can go back up to uh, credentials and again try and create a oauth client application type is going to uh, be web application and we're going to name it to whatever we want again click ok go to the name and we could have done this before but let's go ahead and do it now do http colon forward slash forward slash local host and do a another forward slash and then click save from here we click download download json and now in our easy wizard 3 a bot folder we're going to go ahead and paste that json file that we downloaded or drag and drop it and just name it the uh, same thing that we have here which is just named credentials.json and after it is renamed now we can move so the next thing we need is our ps4 ip address so that's as easy as going on our playstation going down to uh, settings network and view connection status so typing that number value in here and moving on now the uh, next thing that we're going to need is the uh, user id so to get this we can ftp with something like filezilla and what we do here is type in the ip that we copied and set the port to 2121 and click quick connect press ok here and now we're going to uh, scroll down to uh, user home and we're going to uh, copy our user id and just paste that here and now once everything is done we should be able to take our main.py edit with idle click run run module you will get a message the first time you run this that you will need to authorize the application so choose your internet browser and click ok from here just click on the uh, gmail account you want to uh, use click continue and continue once again from now we want to uh, run the bot again and after you go ahead and reboot, you should see that everything is just fine. Congratulations, you have now set up the Easy Wizard 3 save bot.